As of February 6, 2022, Sinusha has diagnosed a total of 21,691 cases in country, with 2,817 active cases presently. The daily infection rate for the last seven days is 59.6 per 100,000 population per day, which represents a 39% reduction from last week, with a 44% average testing positivity rate and a transmission rate of 1.9. We have noted a total of 341 COVID-19 deaths. We have 64 positive cases admitted at the respiratory hospital, one case is critically ill and four are severely ill. Since the commencement of the fifth wave on December 16, 2021, 8,562 cases have been diagnosed with an average of 165 cases per day. Women account for 59% of the cases and 43 COVID-19 deaths have been recorded, 65% of which is male. The majority of the deaths are COVID-19 related deaths due to other associated chronic health conditions. Tourists account for 3.6% of the cases diagnosed in the past seven days, but 4.7% of the total cases during the fifth wave. Although the cases diagnosed are noted island-wide, the main areas affected are Castries, Groselais, Viewfort, and Babano. We have received notification from the Caribbean Public Health Agency of five new cases of the Omicron variant in country. They are all nationals, three female, two male, with ages ranging from 26 to 51 years. We continue sending samples for gene sequencing but we can deduce that Omicron is the dominant variant in country at this time. We continue to note reductions in most of the public health indicators and the downward trend in the epidemiological curve. The cases of COVID-19 noted on a daily basis still has the capacity to cause an increase in hospitalizations, deaths, and affect the productivity in the workplace. We appeal to all organizations, public and private sector, to ensure the strengthening of all of the public health protocols. As we resume face-to-face -face learning at our schools, we continue to ask all stakeholders to contribute in ensuring a safe environment for the sustainable academic instruction. But drivers are reminded to ensure that all of the recommended measures are implemented. The following are the main reminders to parents and the school administration in relation to school reopening this week. Parents are asked to cooperate and work closely with the class teacher on various safety measures put in place to keep your child safe. Children who develop respiratory symptoms or test positive should not be sent to school. Ensure children are provided with clean face masks daily for school and when in public places. Ensure regular cleaning of surfaces and sanitation of all schools and environments. Ensure your child remains in quarantine or isolation if they were a direct contact of a case or a member of your household is positive. Limit social activities at schools and the socialization after school in groups. Teachers and school administrators are reminded to ensure that masks are used in the staff rooms and limit staff socialization. Encourage vaccination of children 12 to 17 years old, teachers and school support staff. The Pfizer, AstraZeneca, and Johnson & Johnson vaccines are available at the various wellness centers and advertised vaccination sites. These vaccines have been proven to be safe and effective in protecting persons in developing COVID-19, its severe forms, complications, hospitalizations, and death. The booster vaccine is also available for persons who have been fully vaccinated for over six months. Everyone who has not been vaccinated is urged to get vaccinated urgently. The Ministry of Health and Wellness will continue providing updates to the public as new information becomes available.